Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy Drex here again with another video. Now, you controller players are gonna be kissing my feet after this one. Bruh. Daddy, chill. So, I know you're all sick of trying to loot a death box and getting absolutely one clip. I'm here to help you fix that. Oh my god! Wow! So, once you follow everything I show you in this video, it will look something like this. So I'm sure there are different ways of doing this, but the way I do it is I have a foot pedal. You plug it in by USB and it has three buttons. I have my left one bound to A and my right one bound to D. For you controller peasants that don't know, A is mouse and keyboard for move left and D is mouse and keyboard for move right. And you have a third button you can bind to anything you want. If you're a streamer, you can bind it to mute in Discord so you can talk to chat. Or you could bind it to N, which is your inspect, so you can spam your kunai. You could bind it to R, which is reload. So instead of having to spray your mag at the door to reload and not accidentally open the door, the possibilities are endless. So I'll show you the exact foot pedal I use and how you can set it up and it's so easy. So this is the exact foot pedal I've been using for over a year now and I'm not at a single problem. But my feet are getting really f strong. Now if you do decide to buy this foot pedal, setting it up is so easy. Just download the software, open it up, press English and then just give it a second. And you'll see all these different types of foot pedal. So just scroll down and find the one you bought. And then put A on the left one and D on the right one. You don't even have to worry about the middle one for now. You can set that up later to whatever you want to bind that to. Now press save to key and you can exit off this. We're all done here. Now, if you want to make this even more spicy, you can go into Steam if you play Apex through Steam. And if you don't, have you been living under a rock? Just delete Origin and download Steam. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You can use Steam for so much more than Origin. You can even set up tap strafing. I have a video showing you how to do this. I'll put a link at the end of this video to make sure you watch until the end. So basically to do this, assuming you've already downloaded Apex, press on Apex here. And then we're going to head over to this manage cog here. Properties. We're going to go to the controller. Controller general settings right here. This will pop up and then make sure you tick whatever controller you have. I have Xbox, you might have PlayStation. Tick whichever one you have and guide button focuses Steam. Then we're going to exit off that. Exit off that as well. And then we're going to controller layout and then we're going to go over to edit layout right here. And when you see this A button right here, I'm going to right click on that and add sub command. And then you're going to go to keyboard up here and then tick this here, spacebar. So now basically when you press to loot, every time you press to loot, it's going to make you jump. So if you're spam looting, you're going to be jumping. And then if you're pressing your foot pedal at the same time, you're going to be moving left and right whilst jumping. Makes it so much harder to hit you. Yo, if this video helped you, make sure you drop a comment on the video and smash that like button. If you're looking for teammates as well, check the link in description and join the Discord. Peace out, controller gang.